All right, hi world. As you know, most of my um, this video playlist is about using the physics of the trumpet to make your lives as trumpet players easier. And the topic of this video is about finding the most compatible mouthpiece for a given trumpet. Now a little bit of background here. Trumpet starts out as just a straight tube, which doesn't have a harmonic series. The bell, however, will flatten off the low tones and give you ba da ba the first couple of uh, overtones of the harmonic series. But the rest of them are still way, way sharp from what we expect from a harmonic series. And that's the job of the mouthpiece. Okay, So the factors involved are the volume of the cup, the size of the hole, and the size of the hole in relation to the length of the backboard. So you might not be able to see it, but small changes there are going to make big difference on the tuning. Um, but if you can get the mouthpiece to be in tune, okay, and make a nice harmonic series, then the notes will really lock in and you just relax into it and you're not lipping up and down and just having a horrible time. So that's all well and good. So how is it that you're going to do that? Well, the simplest way to do this is take the trumpet you want to play, take any of the mouthpieces on offer and of course if you're a proper trumpet player you'll have you know, no shortage of mouthpieces filling up the fire mantle piece okay and then all you're going to need to do this is just a laptop and or any computer and a copy of this program which is free called audacity okay and audacity records it does analysis does everything we need to do here Okay. All right, so this very simple process. All you need to do is put a mouthpiece you want to test into the trumpet you want to find compatibility for. You put uh, Audacity into record, obviously having set up your microphone choice and sound card and all that. And then all you got to do is just slap it with the back of your hand. Okay. And then if you come over here and have a look at the sound file, you'll see this as a couple of big hits. So you select that and you go plot spectrum. And it'll bring up this window which will show you all the resonant frequencies. Now, one important thing is set the resolution as high as your computer can possibly do it for the most accuracy because we're talking just a few hertz here out of thousands, okay? Okay, when you move the cursor over any of these peaks, you'll get the center frequency down here. Okay, now if you have a look at the trumpet we're testing, in this case is a B flat trumpet, we expect to see the fundamental around about 230 or so. Okay, and then all you need to do is uh, just step back for a second. <coughs> Just grab a piece of paper, <laughs> grab a piece of paper, and just do the math. So if the fundamental is 230, divide it by half, so that's 115, and add 115 in each consecutive steps. If we had an in tune series, we expect to see 230, 345, 460. We're mainly interested in the top end of town here. 1380, 1265, 1150, 1035, da da da. So we look for those peaks on the uh, screen and then just see whether they're under or over or spot on. So if we have a look at this one we just tested, okay, we can see here we've got um, we've got 1394, which is way off 1430 or way under. Okay, we've got 1275, which is under 1300. Okay, we've got 1165, which isn't far off 1170. We got 10.30, which is under on 10.40, and we got 9.30, which is over on 9.10. So what we see here is we have some under, some over, and none of them are kind of locking in. And so what does that mean when you go to um, uh, do some playing? Well, what it means is that instead of the note just sitting there, you're going to be fishing around for it. <laughs> what you don't want. What you want is the note to um, just lock in and uh, sit there. Okay, so we go through and just test all the mouthpieces at random 
until you find one that is the best fit tuning wise. Now I just did this recently for this uh, little beast which is a Spanish made sea trumpet. Out of all my mouthpiece collection I found uh, about half a dozen here that um, all pass the tuning test. And then once you've done that you can then say well I prefer the sound of this or it feels more comfortable for the rim or whatever. But any of these if we were to put into this regardless of the tone, you'll find that the tuning just sits. In fact, it's quite hard to even uh, wiggle it. So you just relax into it and we've got it in. The other thing you'll notice if the mouthpiece is matched to the horn is as you crescendo it's not going to go sharp or flat. Now if we were to pick any one of these other mouthpieces at random that are in this pile because they didn't pass the test we're not going to have that effect. Then you can hear that one's going flat as a tack. And any of the other notes. Well, that one's swimming around. That's not too bad. So that's what you don't want. Okay. So just to recap, it's pretty simple. You just go through and find the mouthpiece that will give you the most numerically correct harmonic series out of all the mouthpieces on offer. And then it'll play in tune, it'll crescendo properly, and you won't, you have a much easier time of it. As to the choice of the rim and the tone colour, because as you'll see with some of these, okay, because there's several factors involved, it's not a simple relationship to say you need a deeper cup or a shallower cup. I mean, look at some of these. These are all radically different mouthpieces. This is a Paduba with two cups on it, okay. This is a modified Bark 7C that's had a different rim cut onto it. This is an asymmetric mouthpiece. So look at them, you couldn't say any of these, oh, that's going to work in my C trumpet really well. It doesn't work that way. But of these on offer, you might say, well, I like the feel of this, or I prefer the sound of, of this, okay, because it can be in tune, but still not be the tone you want. But let's just say, for example, I'd kind of like the sound of that overall, more so maybe than this. Not that this isn't in tune. You know, so you can make those choices. All right, hope that helps YouTube world. See ya.